Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T Belly here, King of Retro. Just want to do a really, really, really quick, quick early impressions and review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawa Bunga Collection. Look at that shit, yo! Yup, this bad boy right here. Got an early release copy. Also have a GameStop pre-order copy to keep in, keep sealed in plastic. So this one right here has all of the original NES, SNES, Genesis, Game Boy, and arcade games. What a collection. Online play only has a few games online, which is the two arcade games, Tournament Fighters for the Super Nintendo, as well as the Hyperstone Heist. So that's the only games that go online, which is a little unfortunate, but I kind of get why they did that. I kind of understand. So overall, you get a great, great emulation product brought to you by Konami, the original publishers and developers of these games. And let me, I have to say, what a great way to have this collection. Finally, can you can finally have those two arcade games in a physical form. That has never been done before. There was actually an unlock feature in two of the early TMNT games from the GameCube era, but those versions don't really count. They did not have the audio. For some reason, the audio was taken out of the game, so forget about those versions. We did have the digital TMNT arcade game on the Xbox 360, and then we also had the RK 1UP arcade machine, but that's more of a big machine than an actual physical home game. It's more of like a mini cabinet, so it was a little bit different. So we finally get these in a physical game form, and I gotta tell you guys, that sh this shit is lit. This shit is lit. And again, I know this ain't a gaming channel anymore. It's really retro and lifestyle. But the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they were pop culture icons in the early 90s. Straight up. The Ninja Turtles were official. They were as big as Pokemon were in the United States in their time. You know, Pokemon came much later. But back in that time, TMNT was a big deal. Before Dragon Ball was like the shit in America, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were there. Yes, they were. They were a big deal. If you don't believe me, do your history. And I got to say, this collection is just phenomenal. Great way to have all of these games in one place. Had a great time playing it. I actually streamed uh, last night, which was Friday night, before this game comes out, Tuesday, August 30th. I did stream the two arcade games. And the final level of Fall of the Foot Clan, little, little cheat area, you know, you can actually get the trophies by beating the games. Beating the games, but actually you can skip levels. Yeah. That sucks. But just to be fair, uh, the Game Boy game does allow just allow you to skip levels. So to get the trophies or the achievement hunters, very easy. All you have to do is beat every game. But that also includes the 1989 NES game. I know some people can't beat it. I could. But some people can't beat it. So yes, yeah, step your game up and get that W. There is a rewind feature so it can help everybody that is trying to get that perfect run in. You can definitely use the rewind feature. T-Bell doesn't really play like that. I'm more of a beat the games the way they're supposed to be beat. But to be fair, it's here to have fun. Have fun. Do it however you like. So hopefully you guys like this little quick, quick, quick preview of this game. And I give it a 8 out of 10 on the PlayStation 4 and 5. I did not play the 4 version. Now on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, sorry. The Xbox One. Sorry about that. Xbox One, I also give it an 8 out of 10. Now for the Nintendo Switch. And for PC, I give the game a 9 out of 10 because there's a little bit of extra bonus. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Nintendo Switch has these official controllers. They have a Genesis, a Super Nintendo, and an NES controller. Which pretty much can replicate the NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, via Super Game Boy, and Sega Genesis experiences. With the exception of the two arcade games, which you could just plug in a fight stick you get that authentic experience on the PC because you can sync these to PC and the Nintendo Switch. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little preview and review of this collection. I had a great time playing it. And I just want to end this with a little bit of be safe. And I wish you all the best power, but not regular power. T-U-R-T-L-E. Power! <laughs> nah, stupid. But yo... Shout out to the Ninja Turtles. Love them. But that's it for today, guys. I got to go make some money. It's me, your guy, T-Belly. Go get the game August 30th. You won't, you won't regret it, man.
And I'm signing off, guys. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.